Hey, what's going on everybody? It's Gary, the Bearded Woodworker. Thank you for joining me today. I'm here with my old barbershop buddy, Ed Drescher. Hello. Hello. What are we going to do today? Uh, today we are going to build a birdhouse and use a old license plate for the roof. I came upon a pile of these the other day and thought, what am I going to do with them? I thought, well, let's build some birdhouses. And You've got tons of license plates. I do. A quick brief story on how you uh, came why, to why I have, why license you have so like, many license plates. Uh, my really. father was a license plate collector from back in the late 40s, and even though he has passed and I have rehomed most of his plates, uh, the bug's still there. I just can't stop. <laughs> So we're in Oregon. You have a lot of Oregon plates. I do. We have some Washington plates. Washington, and California. California, just here on the West Coast. But that's what you brought for us to use. Correct. At home, I'm assuming you've got I have other, other states and stuff. Uh, and they are expired license plates. They are no longer valid for use on the public roads. Yes, and that is good to know as well. Um, and you found this online. I'll have a link in the description to where you can get this and I'll credit whoever this is. But it uses a single one by six board and apparently we only need about three feet of it. So if you pick up a six foot board and this is a, a salvage board, right? It's just an old piece or, of fencing. Old, okay, it's uh, just old fencing. an old piece of fencing. And we could get probably two bird houses out of this. There's some cracking, we might only be able to get one. But we're gonna give this a try. What do you think? I like it. This tape measure for you. Oh, good. I got a tape measure for me. And we're going to learn this as we go along. And once we get one down, I think we're just going to batch out a whole bunch of them. Sound like play. All right, let's do it. So first thing, we just want to square up the end on the chop saw. A little bit of waste going on there, but we can chop that off real fast. The next thing we want to do is... Uh, it says the floor two size and there's a front and back. So let's start with our floor and our side pieces. Those are the straight cuts. And then we'll uh, work on the front and back and do whatever kind of thing we want. Do we want to mark two, three, four, five pieces on here and then just chop them up and then cut the... Yeah, we could do that. So let's, easy way to do that. Let's uh, starts here at seven and a quarter. And then Eight inches and eight inches. Back. And the sides are going to be four inches. Yep, and two four inch pieces. Measure once, cut twice. <laughs> go that way, or go this way? There you go. Mm -hmm. uh, so what's happening is on here, it's telling us, so the width of these is five and a half inches, but then it's telling us on the sides that we need to make them five inches. And we're not finding a good reason why we need to make those five inches. So we're making Unless it up. we're making it up as we go along. Unless they want it to be like that to have the perch. So that's what we're gonna do. All right, but well, we're gonna cut them down anyways. And I'm gonna use the chop saw. So maybe they want us to have that little. So we have a nice little porch. Little porch. So now that we have this together like that, we're gonna be able to mark where we want the roof to start. So when our license plate goes on, we don't have a gap going across, I assume. Yes? No. Maybe so. Okay. All right, so we're gonna take our uh, front and back. This is our side wall. We'll just kind of mark where the side wall is, bring our framing square up, and then this is the edging. And then I assume 
we find the center and we'll connect corner to corner and get our roof line. We're going to put one on one side and one on the other right over here. And the center point is, look at that, three and, or no, two and seven eighths, I guess. Yes, that makes sense. Two and seven eighths. <laughs> and then we'll want to connect that point to that point. Are you in agreement with that? That's well, more than a right angle. It is. That's why I'm like, which. So, so here to me looks like a right angle, but here to me does not. I don't know. Oh, son of a gun. Look at that. The important part is making sure that the license plate is long enough. Yes. So we're going to assume that the tree is right about the middle. And if that's the middle, do we have, will we have a little bit of overhang? And survey says, yes, we'll have a little bit of overhang. Okay. So if we fold this right in half, then it's going to go down both sides and it'll be fine. It looks like I'm at 55 degrees, which would make the angle 110 degrees and not 90. I hope this works. I mean, it doesn't have to be a right angle. Like, I'm sure we can. As long as the plate fits, that's yeah. all that really matters, yeah. right? Okay. Great. Flexing. I'm matching it enough. So, what we need to do is take a scrap piece and figure out how to make a jig. Yes. Let's take two pieces. Squish it together, put it in the vise maybe, yep. and then we can bend the license plate over. Great. Right. Scrap pieces. So the thought process, put that in our vise, ah. or clamp it, and then just What do you think? Sure. That should work. We'll give it a try. So apparently a license plate is exactly 12 inches long. Okay, so if I did this properly, slide that in there and see. Oh, yeah. that was fairly Perfect. easy. Perfect. And that's at a 45, but we can. 90, but yeah, we can. Or 90, yeah. yeah. Butts around with it that way. That was fairly easy. How do we do? I think some oh, little bird family is going to be pretty stinking happy. Yeah. Pretty good. I just found our center line. We're going to use an inch and three eighth Forstner bit. And it looks like on the drawing here, it's almost centered of the corners just a little bit lower so i think we'll go a little bit lower than the peak so something right right there or actually we got a different peak too so it doesn't really matter yeah that'd be good all right we're gonna try that So do we want to glue this together or just staples? I don't feel like we need to glue, but we okay. could. Um, we want to try any kind of fancy hinge at all or just unscrew the top. They make birdhouses so you can clean them out too. 
I've never cleaned out a birdhouse before. Well, uh, well, the next occupant can clean it out. Well, that's kind of what I was or thinking. Or they can reuse it or whatever. Yeah, yeah, like they just won't get their deposit back if they exactly. don't clean it. <laughs> and I'm fine with that. <laughs> just reading. That's pretty solid. Does it look like it's fitting? It does. Uh, we probably, uh, on our next go around, we'll make these a little bit shorter to make it shorter this way so that we've got maybe a little bit more. Oh, yeah. Time. So we cut those to the five inches that they wanted, right? Yes. And tragically, as I mentioned, the license plate is 12 inches long exactly. It is six inches wide exactly, which is That's, five plus a half plus a half. Yeah, so it's just, sure. I mean, it's going to be, it's, it's not perfect, but it'll be a good one. Yeah, we can make it work, but I do like the thought of it having an overhang on the front and the back too. Yeah, the next one we do, we're going to make, we're going to make this shorter this way. So the license plate will hang over. I'm really digging though the blue. <laughs> I, like, I think it's pretty cool. It's gonna walk uh, up. It's walking all over. Right, just trying to do that. Right, uh, See, there's a little bit of a lip right here. So trying to drill from this side, the drill bit's walking around. So maybe we'll try it from the back side. Although, I haven't cut the five inch yet. The five inch is just gonna break down a little more. That's okay. Yeah. That'll be fun. So what we're gonna do is take the same measurement and we're gonna, instead of place it this way like we did before, because we were just kind of going with, I don't know, in grain aesthetics or something. We're going out this way, which then turned our peak into about an 80 degrees what we found. So I'm cutting these uh, 45, uh, 40 degrees on the chop saw. So we'll put this together. We're gonna pre-cut our both holes too. And we're gonna trim this down to five inches like it said on the plan. We'll get back to you. There's a painted side underneath. Oh. Let's flip this over yeah, so the that. painted side's up, right? And you could always go back and paint this some more if you wanted it's to. true. This was already painted. Right, so right, right. Why bother? So we're going to put together now the pieces. We're going to, again, go from this to this and see what happens. Uh, Ed is going to... We're going to use our vise and fold that, or you want to try bending it on the side of your... I like the vise. It okay. made, made for a nice, solid, clean... Uh, but first of all, I'm going to drill some holes for... The bird hole, the bird hole, and the uh, perch. Yeah. Great. And I'll show you the roll we already did. Yeah. We've got our new license plate bent. Um, because of where the lettering was, we didn't go right exactly down the middle because we didn't want to put it through the five. So you'll see that it will overhang just slightly more on one side. But as Ed said, I don't think the birds are going to care. And yeah, that's better just like that. Yeah. yeah. Which will, it'll, it'll yeah. straighten out when we go to nail it on. Yeah. Cool. All right. So well, let's uh, put this together so again. Box together, then put the roof on. Yeah. All right. So now we've got our new dimensions. Look at that. Really cool porch there. And uh, we're going to nail it from the bottom mm -hmm. and then put our roof on. I'll bring you closer.
We cut this floor off of a different piece. Oh, of a different board. We sure did. We sure did. And it's slightly, ever so slightly, slightly skinnier. Yeah. Nothing much. And a little overhang there won't hurt anybody. Yeah. We're going to go ahead and use it. So let's start this side first. Get it flush up against the back. That looks much better than my work. Woohoo! You're a pro. <laughs> Now, here it comes. Here it comes. That looks awesome. So we want the overhang over the front. Yeah. I think. We don't need any overhang on the back, do we? Really. A slight could be nice. A little bit? Yeah. So we did it with the painted side up this time for the porch. Plenty of room there if a person wanted to find a rocking chair for a dollhouse. It would look very cute out front. The birds could sit on their rocking chair. Or maybe even a chase lounge. I don't know what birds want these days. No. These new birds, you just don't know. Now we're going to cut another perch. I'll make it, well, we can go in further. Yeah. Too, so. I'm going to use a little wood glue. And then, as the hole's a little too big, I'm going to use some of this thick CA glue to... Uh, you want to set it down on the table while I do that? Well, I can't see if that looks yeah. like we did. <laughs> ah, I see. And what is this? Just some expanding So glue? this is basically um, crazy glue. Oh. Super glue. It's a little thicker, and then I'm going to hit it with a little activator and that instantly dries it. So that'll hold it in place while the wood glue dries. Can you show? Lesson learned. Mm -hmm. Same measurements. Uh, we just. <laughs> it doesn't say anything in these plans, and I'm not sure if there was more on this website or where you found it. It literally was just a piece of paper. This came out way better. This is still cute. This is more gnome-like, I think. <laughs> but, yeah. Yeah, that looks much more birdhouse-ish. Yeah, yeah, we like the overhang. We overhang the, uh, on the front. We overhung it, I guess, on the back too. Uh, again, with the, the lettering and numbers and stuff, we didn't do exactly down the middle, but I still think it looks cool. I think it looks cool that yeah. way because then it's kind of an offset and it looks artistic. Yeah, and what Ed had suggested too, sometimes people want to just put these on their mantle and keep them in the house. And we put the license plate legibility so you can read it this way and it's not, you know, backwards on your mantle or something. So, yeah, look at that. Wow. Awesome. I like that. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah. So, let's do some B-roll. <laughs> 